that could be good, but I, I kind of want to keep like a a free mind and not be limited to what others are saying as well. So. Thank you. More questions? Jennifer, you want to ask? Yeah. Um. It's, I'll pretend I'm not a professor or teacher here, but I, what I would like to know from your point of view is what the role of the instructional level from your professors in terms of um, skill level development, catalyst, moving towards something, and just feedback on that piece. I'm, I'm going to have to talk about that. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk about that because the reason why I actually took the huge leap of becoming an art major was because of my drawing professor, Joe Rizza. Um, yeah. My family wanted, well, it's, art is a frivolous major for um, people who come from the city, the town that I grew up in. It's a frivolous uh, major that rich, snobby kids take. <laughs> yeah, it really is because it's expensive and... Um, it's a third world country and people, you, you won't find people who will buy artworks and it's really expensive and the elite people are the ones who go into art and there's a, a lot of it gets um, watered down and the reason why I took art was because I, I was taking pre-medicine during that time and I enjoyed it, I have to say that I enjoyed pre-medicine and Prior to pre-medicine, I, I, I was taking pre-law, and I enjoyed that, too. I mean, I, I couldn't deny that. But I was compelled to do art because of the way he explained it. And there was just so much joy in what the artists did, and I watched them. And um, the way that people, uh, artists were, there, there was no inhibitions in how artists live. It's just like everything's out there. You are your, your, your own person. and. Um, there's this exuberance in them that you see that you want to to do what they're doing because it's so full of life and you see it in their artworks and when they when the professors talk about it and, and they teach you they they're sort of drawing out your inhibitions telling you try this you know give yourself a chance oh, which is related to um, can, can I draw? Can I paint? I, I, I can't paint, so I'm not going to try to paint. So the professors tell you, try this. Why don't you give yourself a chance? and Just make a mark, make a mark, make a mark, and then um, work on that and build on that. And then pretty soon you're going to get to a certain level where you know you're going to go out into the art world and be competent. And, you know, professors do that to you. And it doesn't matter where you are. Mm -hmm. An artist is an artist, and they will help you. Okay. Thank you. Stan, mm -hmm. you want to add yeah. something? Pass the mic. Yeah. I definitely think that our, all the faculty here uh, who teach us do a really great job. Um, I can actually put an example from your class, Ms. Berenger, <laughs> where I made a con uh, connection between graphic design and painting that I'd never really seen before. Because the way, like, the way you work with Illustrator or Photoshop, it's all in layers. and before I came here, it wasn't really that big into painting. I had tried before, it wasn't that great. Um, and this Banager showed me this whole new concept about doing things in layers, like putting the basic shapes down, then um, putting another shape on top of that, and just kind of refining that little by little until it comes up, which is very much so like you do in graphic design. And I never really realized that before in itself. I also think that the, teach, the teachers do a very good job of uh, conveying uh, the information that they've taken in their life. Uh, to us, and it's actually a very difficult process to think about because art, along with any other subject you're going to learn, is uh, a vast uh, subject to teach. And uh, these people, they have, they have to come up with all their knowledge and actually kind of in a condescending way, just sort of like think of a uh, little dumbed down way of how they already know to tell us because we don't know yeah. it yet. I don't want to make us look dumb, but <laughs> I mean, that's what happens because we don't know and they do. And it, a normal person who isn't good at teaching they'll just try to throw all that information at you. And you'll sit there like, I hate this one. <laughs> but uh, our teachers do a very good job of showing us step by step how to build up to like where they're at and where professionals are at. And I, I think that our faculty has done a phenomenal job. Yeah. I have a question for all of you. Is art important in our everyday life? Absolutely. Very um, much so. How I mean, we live. I mean, uh, a world without art is just like, 
it's kind of like a world without color. Can you imagine walking around, everything's just gray, you know? It would just be slow and boring and all that. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's uh, other compelling things out there, but uh, the world is full of art. Whether you look at these pictures here, the animations, or the sculptures as art, that's not the only defining, uh, defining point of art. You also, uh, you'll hear people say that um, they know the art of medicine. That's because people have a passion towards that. Or so, like maybe even a negative manner, you'll say there's the art of war, which is just like the fine point of war. Art in itself, I think, is just, I think art in, is kind of like another word for passion and expression. And I think that without that, um, we can't be human in general. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I may. Sure. That's not this way, do it. Well, pretty much art is art. I mean, without art, I don't think there would be a progression of humanity. There wouldn't be a progression of our faith. There wouldn't be a progression of our technology. There wouldn't be a progression of mankind at all because, like he said, art is expression. And if we can't express ourselves, then how can we create new ideas or get rid of old ideas or maybe improve on things? And just we, the, with the passing of time and the evolution of humans, art will evolve as well with us. As long, you know, as long as our world and we are evolving, art will always be around, always. Jamie, what well, do you think? Um, I had it, and then I forgot it. You may continue later. There was one part you were saying um, that I wanted to build on. Like the cars we drive, how, how did they find out how to um, make those cars? Someone had to sit down and draw two tires and a door and the thing that goes around it, you know? They had to come up with that and they had to draw. And without art, I just don't see the point in living. You just gotta, you just gotta express yourself. I mean, you can't go around this place just moping around, you gotta have art. And I would never survive math if it wasn't for art. <laughs> I have to have an art course every semester. I've taken ceramics three times so I can get through the semester. Otherwise, I'm gonna blow up. I have to find some way to express myself. And, and yeah, usually my math notes end up in doodles. <laughs> so don't feel alone if you do the same. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Cotton, would you like to take a walk? In a general sense, art's pretty important because Without it, it would be like a brave new world where everything's the same. You're, you, you do what you're told and that's it. Otherwise you'll be cast to the outside or something. Um, keeping art, it'll keep people on their toes. And like if it wasn't here, it we would still all exist. I mean, it's, it would be a different way of living without being able to, to kind of express new ideas or anything, but just, having art around kind of adds an enrichment to just life in general. Like it's, if you want to think about it, it's kind of like a privilege. It's, you, you don't have to be artful. You could, you can find different ways of expressing yourself. It's not limited to drawings or music or anything either. So, um, yeah. Thank you. Carly? Um, I think that art is very important in that it inspires um, people to create other other things, functional things, I guess you could say, like, and that everything we see in life really is an, an art form, like Stanley was, was touching on, like a, a building you might see that somebody had to sit and design that and create it and, and make it appealing to, and make it fit where, you know, where, where it is. And um, also, like, you may, someone may get inspired by an art piece and that could inspire them to create something like a new car or a new cell phone or some something that's really functional and important in our everyday life so we really need that that inspiration good thank you Austin. yeah like just to add to what they just said well we need art because it's uh I'll, uh let me put it this way we could look back maybe like a hundred years ago art during the Egyptian period, it goes from there. Even looking at Michelangelo, looking at the realism, abstractic, or talking about um, the Alem Renaissance, mm -hmm. when it influenced everybody day by day, day to day, in and out, like, okay, this is what I want to do. How will I be able to express myself to everybody so that they could see 
or you trying to like talk about that issue which mm -hmm. how will be what is the best way for you to let people understand what you're talking about because 